all through scripture, you see people that are trying their hardest to figure out how to follow God. How do we worship God? How do we show our allegiance to God? What do we do? And you have these people that were trying to follow every dot and tittle, it says, every letter of the law. A lot of them in the New Testament, the Pharisees and the scribes, they're, they're always coming to Jesus and questioning Jesus and trying to trap Jesus and trying to figure out exactly how to follow the law and live this perfect life. And I think that some of them realize it and a lot of them don't, but that has become this burden on them. It's become this, this yoke of slavery on them. This very heavy laden burden. And it made me think about this passage in the book of Micah. Um, Micah chapter 6, you see God's people and they're frustrated about a very similar thing. They're like, what, what do we do for you, God? How do we worship you? What do you want from us? They, they say, do you want us to give you thousands of rivers of olive oil? Like, is that enough? Do you want us to give you thousands of rams and sacrifice them to you? Do you want us to, to sacrifice our firstborn children? Like, what do you want from us? It just seems like so much, God. It seems like so much that you're asking of us. And then we see in verse 8 of chapter 6 in the book of Micah, we see God answer them. And this is what he says. He says, I've told you what is good. Act justly and do that with kindness. Show mercy, have compassion, and walk humbly with me. Walk humbly, meaning realize that you don't have all the answers. Humble yourselves before me. I am the God that knows all the things. Allow yourself to be human. Allow yourself to just walk every day with me. There are so many ways that this world today tries to make us feel like we're supposed to have all the answers. We're supposed to know how to do justice. How do I do that? What do I do? What do I say? What do I not say? How do I stand up for that? all kinds of different options. How do I show kindness? How do I walk humbly? I want to offer to you some encouragement today. The calling of the Lord on our lives is not meant to be a burden. In fact, when Jesus comes to earth, he says, all you who are weary, all you who are burdened, I've come to give you rest. His burden is light, even though the people didn't realize that. I want you to give yourself some grace today. I need to give myself some grace today. I don't have all the answers. I don't know exactly how to live every day. I don't know exactly how to do the right thing. How do you act justly in all of these different situations? But I believe that the Lord God honors us saying to him, Lord God, I don't know how to do this. But I want to love you and I want to honor you and I want to recognize you as the creator of life and the sustainer of it. I want to follow you. And I'm trying. I'm trying here. I want you to, to remember today that the Lord God is a God that gives and gives and gives a whole lot of grace. A whole lot of grace to say, hey, just look up to me. You don't have all the answers. You are not called to be perfect. In fact, the Lord God knows that we are not. And he does not expect that from us on this earth. 
but he does ask that as best we can to the people that are in front of our face or to the people in cyberspace, to any of the people that are made in his image, which is all people, we are called to act with justice kindly, to show kindness, to show mercy and compassion, realizing that we don't have all the answers, but we do follow the Lord God that does. And he is sovereign, and he is one day going to come and make it all right. May we live for him in the meantime. Give yourself some grace today because the Lord God does.